What's up, DC Nation? So, I know what you guys are thinking, you know, why in the world are you making a video when the Redskins have their bye week this week? And the reason why is because I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about what I think of the Redskins 4-3-1 and one record go through the first half of the season. So, what I'm thinking is not what I was expecting. I mean, it's an okay record. You know, we're third in the division right now, you know, since the Giants, not the Giants, the Eagles lost. And uh, even though we're still looking to go into the playoffs as the number six seeded team, According to the playoff picture, if the NF if the NFC playoffs were out, which they're not, because there's still eight games left we gotta play. But yeah, um four, three, and one, it's not a bad record. I mean we got a winning record, but it's not what I was expecting. I mean, in my opinion, we should we should be with the bye week, we should be uh seven and one more than anything, because the only loss that I think we really deserve to have, you know, was the Steelers, because, I mean, the Cowboys and the Lions, we didn't, we had mistakes, and the Bengals, the Cowboys, the Lions, and the Bengals, we made mistakes that cost us the game, and as a result, you know, well, the Cowboys and Lions beat us, and then, you know, we tied with the Bengals, which I wasn't expecting at all. But, I mean, at the beginning of the year, I predicted the Redskins to go 14-2. and Obviously, I got my predictions wrong after we lost to the Lions. And the reason why, the, the, this is what I said, said, but I didn't say it on video. I said, I can see the Redskins going 14-2 and if they play their cards right, which obviously they didn't. So, but anyway, this is what I've, I'm thinking after the first half of the season. You know, week one, we went up against the Steelers, and the whole team just flat out played like shit. I mean, the game should have been a little bit closer than what it was. I think we should have only lost by, like, maybe eight points. You know, we, I mean, first of all, Kirk Cousins, you know, he didn't have two interceptions. He only had one. That second one was, like, the last play of the game. If you review it, the ball hit the ground before the defender got it. But, I mean, it didn't matter because we still got we, – we would have still been blown out either way. So, they just gave the Steelers the ball back, you know, last play of the game. But, anyway, if they would have got that call right, it would have been fourth and goal. So, you, you, you knock off that interception. You say Cousins gets a touchdown. You know, we're down 38-23. And then that one turnover we had, say that wasn't a turnover. It was just a punt. The Steelers, you know, they they – don't score off of it, off the touchdown from Kirk Cousins' pick six, and we lose the game 31-23, you know, would have been a lot closer, would have been a lot better game. Um, week two, we lost to the Cowboys. They wanted it more than we did. And uh, Kirk Cousins throwing an interception in the, in the uh, end zone did not help at, us at all because if that didn't happen, you know, more than likely, you know, we're winning – 30 to 16 and that could have been the final score. No, we we would have been winning 30 to 20. That's that should have been the final score of the game of the Redskins Cowboys game 30 to 20. So that's what happened week 2. Week 3, we went up against the Giants, barely pulled off a win against them. Uh you know, like I said, interception in the beginning. Well, actually it wasn't an interception, it was a fumble. You know, that fumble doesn't occur, you know, Redskins win 29-20. Uh, to 20. Once again, that could have been ours. Could have been a little bit bigger. Week four, you know, we went up against the Browns, and obviously that game should have been out of control. We should have beat the shit out of them. Uh, you know, there was one lucky touchdown the Browns had, and then there was a couple of possessions we could have – you know, maybe score touchdowns all, but, you know, we should have won this game like 38-23, so we should have blown out the Browns pretty easily, but we didn't. Uh, week five, we went up against the Ravens, you know, Hopkins missing a field goal and an extra point. We win the game 20-10. to 10. 
rather than winning 16 to 10. Uh, week six, we went up against the Eagles. That was probably the only score that I that I agreed that should have happened 27 to 20. I mean, but we pretty much owned the Eagles for the most part. Uh, week seven, we went up against the Lions. You know, Dustin Hopkins doesn't miss a field goal. You know, it's a tie, tie ball game. Um, Kirk Cousins doesn't have – not Kirk Cousins. Matt Jones doesn't have those two fumbles. One of them was in the end zone. You know, so Redskins would be up 27 to 17. And then, you know, Detroit scoring a last-second touchdown to, and then Detroit having to – onside kick and we still win the game 27 to 24 and then week nine we or week eight excuse me we went up against the Bengals and Hopkins misses a field goal before overtime hits we could have won the game 30 to 27 without overtime starting so that's what I'm thinking you know we should have been seven and one we didn't play our cards right and this is why we have a four three and one record so now that I'm done with the first half of the schedule, let me think. Let me tell you guys what I'm thinking is going to happen the second half of the season. Well, the second half of the season, in my opinion, is probably a little bit harder than the first half because, I mean, we're going up against opponents. Like, we got our homecoming game uh, this weekend against the Vikings. You know, that that. It's going to be a little bit of a – that's that's probably the toughest homecoming matchup I've ever seen the Redskins have as I've been a fan of this team for four and a half years because, you know, first we went up against the Panthers who only had one win. That was the last homecoming game we lost, speaking of which. Second year we go up against the Chargers. We won in overtime by a touchdown. Third year – we went up against the Titans, won by two points, and we wouldn't have won if we would have we, if we wouldn't have benched Kirk Cousins because Cousins was bad. He ended up costing us the first half, and that's how Colt McCoy. That's how we heard of Colt McCoy's performance. And then last year, you know, everybody should remember this: the Buccaneers matchup when we were down twenty-four to nothing, and we came back and won the game, thirty-one to thirty. But yeah, this year we're going up against the Vikings, who have only lost three games this year. Yeah, the Vikings, they're starting to pick up losses now, but that's because they're picking up rival losses. You know, they've lost to the Lions once, they've lost to the Bears once, and they lost to the Eagles, and hopefully they're going to lose to us. But I don't even know who leads the division in the NFC North anymore. I don't know if the Packers lead it or if the Lions are starting to get get on their way over there or, you know, or if the Vikings still lead it. I, I don't know, personally, who leads the division. But this matchup is going to definitely going to be tough because, you know, I mean, the Vikings, they got, you know, they, they were one of the very few teams in the NFL that were undefeated. So, I mean, we could win, though. I mean, they don't have Adrian Peterson, but, you know, Sam Bradford's still out there. They still got Kyle Rudolph. This could definitely be a tough matchup, but I still I think it's going to be a close game, and we're either barely going to lose this game or we're barely going to win. And then after we play the Vikings, we got to play the Packers. That's another tough matchup, but I but I mean you know the Redskins are going to look to get revenge off that playoff loss, and on top of that, the Packers are nowhere near the team they used to be. Speaking of the Packers, they lost again this week to the Colts, so, you know, I'm not really nervous about the Packers. I am a little bit nervous against the Thanksgiving matchup against the Cowboys in a few weeks because the Cowboys, you know, they lead the division. They're 7-1. and one. They are going to lose another game at some point. I just don't know when. You know, now, I've got people asking me, you know, do I think the Cowboys are going to make it to the playoffs? They could, unless they start choking. You know, they, they the December curse could still hurt them. You know, they could lose the first game in January. And then, yeah. So they, and then they could lose to us on Thanksgiving, which drops their record to 9-7. and seven. They could possibly be a wild card winner. So, yeah, the Cowboys, they have a shot at making the playoffs. Do I think the Cowboys are going to win the NFC this year? It depends on what number seeded team they are because those referees are terrible. They're absolutely flat out terrible. And so, 
Yeah, they're flat out terrible, just like they were in 2014. That's why the Cowboys are so good. You know, I really hate seeing the Cowboys this successful, especially with a 7-1 and record. They are going to lose another game. I guarantee you guys that for sure. But, you know, who knows with the Cowboys. But do I think the Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. I think if they do win the NFC, whoever wins the AFC, whether it's the Raiders, the Broncos, or the Patriots, or the Chiefs, or so somebody like that, I think they're going to get, you know, one of, the, one of those AFC teams is going to beat the Cowboys because the Cowboys aren't going to have their referees helping them out. You know, the Super Bowl is not going to be in Arlington, so... But I definitely think the Redskins have a shot at winning that game for sure because rivalry games are always emotional. That's how the Vikings lost to the Lions and the Bears because of that. Anyway, so then we got to play the Eagles and – no, then we got to go to Glendale, Arizona to play the Cardinals next. And whatever Cardinal team shows up is going to depend on how we do. Then we go to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. We should win that game. Then we go – to Chicago? No. Then we have a home game against the Panthers. And the Pan the defending NFC champs aren't good, so we ought to beat them for sure. We ought to get payback on them. Then we go to Chicago to play the Bears. That should be an easy matchup. We should beat them, no matter if it's in Chicago or not. And then, you know, last game of the season, season against the Giants, which we should win. So if the Redskins, if they do miss the playoffs, I can still see them winning their last four games of the season you know, because that's normally what the Redskins like doing is whenever they're fixing to go to the playoffs, they go on this big win streak. You know, first, you know, we did it in 2012. You know, we went 7-0 after the bye week, and then we did it last year won the last four games, even though it should have been six despite the Monday night football loss. But, I mean, definitely the Redskins have a shot at becoming undefeated after the second half of the bye week. You know, they could be 8-0, could go into the playoffs – you know, with a 12-3-1 record, you know, but I'm not going to jinx myself. We'll take this uh, We'll take this game one game at a time. So, yeah, guys, that's what I got to say about the Redskins. You know, hopefully we'll beat the Vikings Sunday, and I'll be back on here Monday or Tuesday of next week.